everybody Anne here just sitting here on my porch having my coffee in the sunshine it's gonna be beautiful today unfortunately I have to do a little bit of work in the city which I'm not looking forward to but you know what there's been multiple people who have showed a great interest in my beautiful Betty so in this video I'm gonna tell you basically her life story Betty was born October 15, 2013. Here she's two weeks old, and she belonged to a patient of mine. Uh, they had the mommy and daddy pit bulls on premises. The mommy was dying and couldn't nurse her puppies, and so they wanted to know if I would take one of the puppies when they were old enough, and I said, of course. So they wanted me to take this one, and they called her Banshee because she always had a really messed up bark, and she still barks that way to this day. Don't know why. And here she is, just almost four weeks old. They called me and said, please come pick this dog up. She's making too much noise. We need to get her out of here. And I'm like, oh yes, I'll, I'll come pick her up right away. And I was afraid since she was only four weeks old that she wasn't gonna be weaned yet. So I went and got out and got some goat's milk and a bunch of stuff for her and went and picked her up. It was in the dead of winter. And well, I just brought her home with me, put her in my jacket and took her home. Here she is, four weeks old. Look at her, look at those paws. Oh my goodness, what a sweet, sweet baby. At this time, I had two other dogs and she just, this dog warmed up to me and the other dogs right away. So yeah, she's been a joy, but she's been a handful. The good thing about her is that she was very, very easily potty trained. Very rarely did she have any accidents inside. And so here she is a little bit bigger sorry you can't see it but um, she's she was always trying to you know get up on the couch and whatnot and she would always just look at you with this expression in her face like she was trying to figure you out like you had some kind of you know story that you were telling her and she was intently focused on you but I just loved her so much and she always she always liked to get up behind me when she was sleeping and drape her head over my neck. It was just hilarious. And here's another one. This photo, I am so sorry, it's so bad, but she still does this little cock of the head thing to the side where she just looks curious, very inquisitive. She'll hear a little sound even to this day and her little head will just go to the side and she gets this little, this little scrunched look on her face, almost like a Robert Redford look on her face trying to figure out what is that sound or what do you want mommy mommy or whatever she was just so cute and here she is she liked to play ball she was about six months old here and her coat was just starting to come in brindle really really nice um, I wasn't sure she was going to be brindle initially because when I brought her home she didn't have any brindle on her at all but uh, this is out behind the apartments that I used to live in and I would take her out and I could let her run off lead then because she always obeyed me. She always came back. She was always friendly. She never went after other people or other dogs. And here is her beautiful coat. This is her still at about uh, six months old. And she just has a striking coat and everybody always compliments me on how beautiful and lush and shiny and soft her coat looks and yeah I'm really glad that she's brindle I haven't bred her yet I've thought about breeding her but no I just need to get her fixed because I think that that would probably fix some of her behavioral problems and there's another pose from her I think she was about eight months old in this photo and she was just such a good girl always so much fun to take out and play with and this is during the time where uh, I still had my two other dogs. So she was really well socialized. She loved other dogs. She loved to play with them. She never had a problem. She never bit anyone or another dog or anything. Very, very good with kids. So I don't know, something changed though. And here's another view of her, her beautiful brindle pattern. What changed is first one dog died a black lab just of old age and but she was still okay after that because I still had the dachshund mix named Skylar and then a few la years later right before I moved into the van Skylar died and 
that's when Betty started changing a little bit. She really just changed her behavior. And here she is laying on the couch just looking at me. She would just always just stare at me with her big eyes. But after Skylar died, that was another cue to me that it's time I, I moved into my van. Um, I only have one dog. I could do it with one dog. And so I moved into the van. And, um, you know, Betty just became very, very protective of me. She loved the van. She loved going around riding in the van with me, except for when we had to go to the city. But she she just got protective. She didn't want, she didn't mind people near me. She would bark. She still barks to this day at other people. But um, she didn't like other dogs or critters or anything like that around me. But she will just look at you with this look on her face that is just like, well, she either wants to love all over you or she just wants to you know, make sure that you stay away from her mommy. (laughs) God love her. One thing she didn't like is being woken up from a nap. And here she is back when I was still living in my apartment. She loved just to sleep on my bed and she put her head on the pillow just like a human. So I always kept a pillow for her. I always kept a like a coverlet of some kind over the quilt, over the comforter, so she wouldn't get my, my, you know, bed, bed sheets and whatnot all messy, but she did not like being woke up from a nap. She would give you a dirty look every single time, and here is the beautiful covering, or coloring rather, on her face, just a really beautiful, sweet dog, but you know what? Don't approach the tiny house. She didn't like people approaching the van. Um, at all, um, unless she was outside the van, she was okay if it was at, if you know she was outside the van and somebody would come up to her, she would be fine. But inside the van, you try and reach your fingers in. She did not like that at all. And here's a photo of her in the van, sleeping all snuggled up. I made sure that she stayed very, very warm. I dedicated an entire blanket to her and I just made sure that she was always covered up because there were nights when it got gosh darn cold in that van and but we made it through we did just fine and she's just been the best traveling companion ever but she sure does love to snuggle up in her covers and stay comfy and warm and she loves to put her snout right by my neck this is the way she likes to sleep right up next to me right with her snout against my neck or over my shoulder and this picture was actually taken in the van too so uh she just you know what it doesn't matter what weather it is either weather if she if it's cold outside or if it is warm super hot she still has to be snuggled up right next to me what a sweetie and yeah this is the way that we go to bed many times with her right behind me and her head draped over my neck like she's almost trying to feel my carotid pulse with her you know with her neck and she's done this since she's been a puppy um when she was a puppy she would just kind of like get right by my head her whole body was on my head um but as she grew she never got out of that habit this is just the way we sleep And I know you guys have already seen this photo, but I just love it so much that I had to include it in this video too. She just loves to sit and watch me do things. Now, this photo, I'll remind you, was an accidental shot. I was just holding my phone and I happened to hit the the shutter, I guess, and caught this photo. And it was such a pleasant surprise to find this on my phone, just having her just sit there and look at me. She is just the sweetest dog ever. And look at there, UPS guy came, so I have to open this right now. All right, I've cut it open. I, I have no idea what this is. Um, like I said before, I've been told that people are sending me things, but I don't know when it's coming. And then there's a few things that are still surprises. So I don't know if this is a surprise or something I'm expecting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What you doing, what? Betty, what is she chewing on? All right. Huh. What in the world? There's no notes. I do not know what this is. All right.
Oh my gosh, I can't believe this came so soon. Oh. Let me make sure this is what it is. I'm going to pull it out of this bag. I don't want to drop stuff all over the place. And, uh, unbelievable. Hang on. This is what was in the box. Donna sent this to me. Thank you so much, Donna. Betty has not gotten on it yet. She's kind of looking at it. I told her not yet because I've got two little parts that I'm having trouble getting together. You just have to really pull it apart hard. It's almost like the pipes are too long, but they're not. I know they fit into each other, so I just have to figure out how to get those two last pieces together so it'll be nice and stable, and I'm sure she's just going to love it. Miss Donna wanted me to have this for Betty outside so that when I'm doing my projects, Betty will have somewhere to nap and be up off the ground. Poor Betty. She can't get in her bed yet. I'm sure she's going to love it, though. Thank you so much, Miss Donna. And that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.